Uh, today we're going to be uh, we're going to be demonstrating a um, how to hook up your your hardwired DVR system uh, up to uh, up to your internet connection in order to be able to view your cameras online or over your mobile phone. Uh, this differs from an IP-based camera, uh, whereas the camera itself has a built-in web server and it's one camera that you view over software and uh, and on a, on a remote computer. Uh, this system here is a, is a hardwired uh, self-contained system. Uh, DVR, where you can plug up to four cameras up to it, and each camera uh, acts as a camera and not as a web server. Your DVR is going to act as your, uh, as your uh, portal to the internet versus the camera itself. And the way it does that is with a hardwired uh, internet connection, either uh, you know, broadband or DSL service, and it's going to require a modem and, a, and as, well as, a, uh, as well as a router. And the router is going to take our internet signal and transfer it or wrote the signal to our DVR so that way we can access it remotely. Okay. Uh, today, um, again, we're conducting a demonstration of how to connect your uh, hardwired DVR system up to the internet to view it remotely. Uh, we've already installed our uh, Ethernet or CAT5 cable from our router uh, to the back of the DVR and now we're going to go ahead and configure the DVR uh, portion itself, the settings that need to be configured in the DVR uh, in, in order to access it remotely. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the menu we're going to hit the menu button. It's going to bring up a menu on our screen. We're going to select the network setting, which your DVR might say network. It could say uh, remote, remote settings. It could say something like that. On most DVRs, it says network settings. So we're going to select, uh, we're going to go over to the network setting menu. We're going to hit enter. It's going to take us to a network setup menu. Okay, there's different settings here. <clears throat> and the one that we're going to be working with right now is this first one that says IP mode. It says static right now, and your IP address that's, that's listed here is going to be an internal IP address, meaning this 192.168.1.220 is a number that we're going to use in order to configure or in order to access the DVR on the remote, on, uh, excuse me, on the local network. So if I'm at work, and I have five computers networked and a DVR also connected to the network, uh, those five computers there are going to use this internal IP address in order to access the DVR. Okay, so, but the static setting means that that 220 is going to be the number that the DVR sends out uh, to the back to the router and says that's the number that we want to use, but we want, to, we want the router to assign uh, what our IP address is in order to, um, in order to be able to, uh, to access it. We can't use 220. Um, well, I guess we could, but w what we want to do is have the have the router assign us a number. Um, make it, it makes it a lot easier to do that way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to where it says static, we're going to change that to DHCP, which is an acronym uh, that is used in uh, network terminology. Uh, basically, what it means is is that your router is going to assign the uh, the DVR uh, an, an IP address number. Okay, so we put our DHCP. Now we're going to exit out of this menu and we're going to wait for the settings to take effect. Okay, so if I hit the menu button again, I didn't exit. All right, so we're, we're, again, I, I, I forgot to uh, exit out here. So we, we're, again, we're going to change it to DHCP and we're going to exit out of this menu by hitting the menu button. Now it's going to load the new settings. It's going to get the settings from the router. It says system loading, so we're just going to wait for that to happen. So now uh, we've gotten the we've gotten the system loading uh, uh, portion off the screen here, and uh, now we're going to go back to the network menu, the network setting. We hit OK. Now we can see uh, this IP address has changed. It's now 192.168.2.58. And that number has been assigned to it by the router. We didn't actually have to know that number. The router assigns it, and the DVR captures it automatically. Uh, there's one more setting that we're going to do, or two things we're going to do. First, we're going to change this back to static. We're closed. And then we're going to change the, um, the internet port to 88. Again, we're going to change the, the, the setting back to static. We're going to change the port number. Port 80 uh, sometimes is a default port used for the router, so we're going to change it for security reasons as well. We're going to make it uh, 88. So we'll hit uh, enter, and then we'll just go ahead and uh, backspace the 8 out of there and put another 8, and we can make it 88. We're going to hit enter. 
Okay, so now we need to remember this number here, 192.168.2.58, we'll write that down. Um, and these other numbers you don't really need to worry about right now, uh, that's for further configuration. Uh, but we're just going to leave the settings as they are right now, we'll exit out of this menu. Uh, system loading again and it's going to go ahead and store the changes that we've made and now we're going to take uh, the installation part back over to the computer and uh, work from there.